Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing of Van Diemen's Fountain Pen inks. So I ordered some inks from their new Night collection and I wanted to unbox my order with you guys and swatch out the colors. So I'm going to take off all of this protective wrapping that they put on their ink bottles when they ship them and we will check out what I got. I have really come to love Van Diemen's inks. The color choices that they have are amazing. They have so many different colors of fountain pen ink available and they have inks that have sheen and inks with shading and inks with shimmer, all of the things. And I love the fact that each bottle contains at least 90% Australian ingredients and they hand make their inks in micro batches. They hand bottle them and hand label them in their studio. And I just really love that they put so much care into their inks and that they are a handmade product and a small business that I really love to support. And Peter and Belinda, the owners of Van Diemen's, are just a pleasure to work with. They have been so complimentary towards my videos and they've been super generous, including free inks for me when I order. So I ordered these top six inks and they actually sent these three as a thank you to me for my continued support of their shop. I just think that's amazingly generous of them. But these are the inks that I got. So I'm going to flip each one over and show you the color. We'll open them up and we will swatch them out. So this is Cherry Blossom Dream. On the side of their bottles, they put like a little swatch of the ink so you know which color it is. This one is Dawn. This is Dusk. This is Night Owl. This one is Tiger Qual Prowl. We're really excited about this one. And this one you'll notice is a bigger bottle. These are all 50 milliliter bottles. It's a 100 milliliter bottle. It is huge because my sister and I are splitting this bottle. So we're gonna take part of the bottle and put it into another bottle for her to have half of it as well. But this is Shooting Star. This is just gorgeous in the swatches that I saw online. Cannot wait to swatch that out. Then this is Twilight Mist. This is Moonlight Lake. And this is Golden Orb Web. Really excited about this one as well. I am hoping that this cherry blossom is the perfect color for a new pen that I'm gonna be unboxing with you guys, because if it is, that's what we're gonna to use to ink up my pen. But I'm gonna take these out of the boxes and get my supplies ready, and we're gonna swatch these out. Okay, so I have all of the inks unbottled. I will say, when I pulled out the Golden Orb, it took my breath away just looking at the bottle. Look at all of that shimmer. It is so gorgeous. I am so excited to swatch that out. I do have some other unboxings of Van Diemen's inks on my channel, so I'll put links in the cards up above so you can check them out. And I actually have another video that I'm gonna be doing where we're gonna be filling some pens with some inks that I did in my last unboxing, but I wanted to wait until these came because shortly after that, they had launched this collection. And I might prefer some of these inks for those pens, but also I have some other pens that I think these inks will go in. So I figured we would just add to the ink filling pile and we'll do a major ink filling video with Van Diemen's inks. But I'm going to grab my Cosmo Air Light Notebook. This is from Drum Ghouls. This is where I swatch out a lot of my inks. These are some other Van Diemen inks that I have swatched out. So I'm just going to go to a blank page and I'm gonna get some water and my automatic pen. This is my favorite tool for swatching out inks. And we are just going to start from the cherry blossom. So this is cherry blossom. And I am really excited for this one because I think it is gonna match a new limited edition pen that I ordered. I hope that it's gonna match because I really wanna use this ink in that pen. I am working on my studio finish out right now and I'm going to have a new film set up. I actually have a new camera coming. I'm so excited and a bunch of new tools and a new space. And once it's all set up, I will do a video of that and show you guys. 
but one of the reasons for my studio redo is to have some better storage for my fountain pens and my fountain pen inks. Among other things that I have a growing collection of like planners. The next thing we're gonna do is Dawn. I am really excited about my new studio space. Well, it's the same space, <laughs> it's just redone. New storage, new furniture, something I've been working on for a really long time, but between, you know, work and life and my channel, never seems to be enough time to get everything done. But I'm really excited to get it finished and share it with you guys. And I'm also excited to use my new space for filming. My current space is a standing filming area, which I'll still use sometimes, but my new space is seated. When I first started my channel, I actually filmed in my kitchen, and I was thinking maybe I would do a video where I go through how I got started with my YouTube channel, what I used, and what I've kind of grown into and upgraded to as I've continued my channel and it kind of stuck because when you first start a channel, you don't know if it's going to be something that you're going to keep up long term. You don't know if it's going to be popular. You don't know if it's going to be something people like. And I really like my channel and I really like doing it. And I hope to continue to grow and to grow even faster than I have been. So I think that my new setup will help with that. So the next one we're going to do is Night Owl. really excited for this color. I actually have a pen that I think that's gonna go in. And then this one is Tiger Qual Prowl. This one actually has shimmer in it. If you can see that. And I'm just going to twirl it to distribute the shimmer. And I still have a fountain pen series coming. It's going to start with beginner fountain pens. It's going to start with a beginner series, and then we're going to go from there. But I kind of had to put it on the back burner with stuff we had going on personally with my mother-in-law and her illness and then her passing. So I had to kind of move things around. But that will be coming in the next month or two, or starting. It's a long series. And then the next one we're going to do is Shooting Star. This one has a ton of shimmer in it and color variation. The minute that they announced this new release, both my sister and I knew that we wanted this Shooting Star. We decided that ordering one big bottle and splitting it was more cost effective. It is a giant bottle. It is so pretty. So those are the six that I had ordered and picked out. And now we're gonna go to the three that they generously sent me and added to my order. So the first one is Twilight Mist. This has purple shimmer in it. That is my favorite color. I love purple. So I'm really <laughs> excited for this one. And I actually have a couple of purple pens that I could put this in. Wow, that's a pretty purple. Scoot my water over. And the next one is Moonlit Lake. This one also has beautiful shimmer in it. Wow, that is a glorious teal color. 
That is so pretty. Hasn't even dried yet and I can already tell. And then last, but definitely not least, is Golden Orb Web. And just look, this ink just makes me so happy just looking at it in the bottle. It is absolutely gorgeous. And look at the flow, all the shimmer. Oh, so excited. I am really excited that they sent this to me. It isn't something I probably would have bought for myself, but I'm really, really excited for it. Look at that. Sometimes people know you better than you know yourself. And they know just what you need. Put a little bit more. I really want to see that shimmer once it's dry. So Peter and Belinda, they have been working to develop new colors. They also work all the time to reformulate existing inks so that they can improve the inks that they already have. They work to change their bottle designs, their cap designs, everything just to improve as they go, which I really appreciate as well. So I'm gonna reorganize these real quick so I have them in line. So these are the swatches wet. I'm just gonna bring them up, and kind of twist them around so you can see some of the shading and the sheen and the shimmer that's already starting. But I'm going to leave this here and we're gonna let it dry and then we're going to come back and check it out. I'm not gonna time lapse the drying this time. I'm just going to pause the video and let it sit and I'm gonna go take care of a few planner related things and then I'm gonna come back and we are going to check out what they look like dry so that you can see how they are dry. Now I will say I really like swatching on this Cosmo Air Light paper, but in my last unboxing I actually swatched on Tomoe River paper and onion skin paper as well. So definitely check out that video too so you can see kind of the color differences and how inks come across on those three papers. But I really enjoy doing my swatching in this little book. I think it's a really good representation of the ink. So we are going to check out what it looks like when it's done. And I will add little labels to it so we know which color is which and then we will meet right back here. All right, so everything is pretty much dry. There's a little tiny piece of shooting star that is wet, a little bit on golden orb web, but we're gonna go ahead and check them out. I did kind of scratch their names in a really terrible handwriting, so I apologize. It was mostly just for me so that I would know which one was which. But these are the inks. I'm gonna kind of swirl the paper so you guys can see, I apologize, my husband is sneezing in the other room, running a bath, making all sorts of noise. So we have Cherry Blossom, which is a beautiful pink. We have Dawn, which has this beautiful green sheen, and it's kind of pink and red and orange and all the things you see in the sky at dawn. And then we have Dusk, which is this beautiful powder blue-gray color. We have Night Owl, which is similar to Dawn, but it's more red and orange, less pink. And then we have Tiger Qual Prowl, which has the beautiful, like sort of vivid green, almost like a witch's green sheen on it. We have Shooting Star. Look at that sheen on the Shooting Star. That is what it is known for, and it is phenomenal. Then we have Moonlit Lake, which is a purple, sort of bluish purple that has a little bit of shimmer in it. And then we have Twilight Mist, which has super dramatic maroon sheening on it. And then we have Golden Orb, which is just phenomenal. It is yellow with orange and gold flecks. It is so much fun. I actually think, let me grab this, that I may put that in this Coico. I never use this pen because I've never found an ink that I absolutely love for it, but I think that is a really good pen for that ink. So I think when we do our filling video, we'll put that in this pen. But that's my video of the Van Diemen's Night Collection. It is their newest collection of fountain pen inks. I will put links down below in the description box to their shop, to their Instagram, and also to this specific collection so you can get to it and you can check out all the colors that they have in this collection. It is 
a beautiful collection. I really liked their underwater collection, but I think this collection is my favorite. The variety of colors is just amazing, and I think they are so pretty. I am so excited. Van Diemen's is based in Australia, so it does take a little bit to get to you, but it doesn't take that long. And like I said, Belinda and Peter are amazing people to work with. The customer service is great. They package it really well. It's just a really wonderful company and I really like their inks and I am happy to share my newest ones with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos, including the video where we're going to fill up a whole bunch of my pens with Van Diemen inks and do some writing samples. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing of my night collection from Van Diemen's ink. And don't forget to just scribble.